finally, it's been three years since we've been road racing. So really, really looking forward to getting down Glen Crutchley Road uh, in a couple of weeks' time. It's been a long time coming. Last time in 2019, S1000RR. Now for 2022, we're going to be in an M1000 double R. Differences are going to be interesting. You know, obviously the big thing to start with is the wings. The wings are, make a big difference to how the bike feels and handles and it's been an interesting topic between a lot of riders and teams about how it's actually going to affect the bike. At the Northwest 200 has been the first time we've ridden the M1000RR on a road at over 200 miles an hour with the wings. Good results, I guess is the best thing to say. We topped the speed traps. I actually even myself thought it was going to really hinder the top speed of the bike. Uh, we did 201 mile an hour without slipstream. So actually, if anything, it's faster than I've ever been before. So kind of proved myself wrong with that uh, opinion, but really, really looking forward to getting the M1000 double R on the roads. I think the bike's going to work really, really well. I was happy with the S and the M's a massive step forward. I get asked a lot about the differences between a British Superbike and, uh, and a road racing bike. You'd be surprised, they're actually very, very similar. In fact, here right now, the bike you're looking at is my BSB bike. Obviously, gearing is different because we have much, much higher speeds here, so we've got different sprockets to what we would use on short circuit. More bits of lock wire everywhere, more Loctite on, more thread lock on, just to make sure that things don't rattle themselves to pieces. Because, of course, when we're pounding around doing 200 mile an hour, the bike goes through a lot more stress than what it does at a British Superbike event. So, to be honest, it's very, very similar. Yeah, preparing for the TT after a few years away. I'm not somebody that really overthinks anything particularly. I kind of take things as they come. I take whatever my job is right now. So what I mean by that is if it's a BSB weekend, that's all I think about. You know, I was at Alton Park last weekend. All I was thinking about was Alton Park, how I could be the best I could be, how I could make the bike the best it could be, how I could get the best result I could get. When I come to the Northwest 200, I do the same thing about the Northwest 200. I'm not thinking, oh, I need to be at 95% because I don't want to hurt myself or I don't want to put myself at more risk. But at the same time, I'm here because I want to win. Yeah, so obviously FHO have not been road racing before. The Northwest is the team's first uh, international road race, which is great to be a part of. Heading towards the TT, of course, I'm um, really, really confident in myself, really confident in the bike and the team. I've been riding this bike now for over a year at BSB with the M1000RR, so I know it inside out, the team knows it inside out, we know where we want to be with it. Um, I actually did my fastest ever lap at the Northwest 200 on only my fifth lap on this bike around this course, so I know, I know what the bike's capable of and going to the Isle of Man, nice and confident.